Hey, welcome to the channel guys. Today we are building this custom step stool for our new pantry. Stay tuned to see how we did it. For this project, we'll be starting with this uh, rough sawn walnut. Uh, first step is to get it milled down to size. Let's do that now. So this piece is going to be the top, uh, so we are going to cut it at 18 inches. This piece is going to be the legs, so we are going to cut it into two 9 inch sections. Okay, so I almost forgot. I was going to cut this at 9 inches, but it's not a straight cut. It's actually an angled cut. So I'm gonna use this crack cut off uh, to get my angle right uh, because I'm not exactly sure on the angle that these legs need to sit. Remember this is my, my scrap test piece. The leg is going to sit like that. And this degree ended up being seven degrees. So I'm trying to figure out how to cut these legs the same size, the same length, um, because they do have the seven degree miter on them, um, on the ends. So I think if I line up these and make them flush, even though they're going at an angle, if I cut right here on my angle, I think they'll be the same size. Because I do need the two angles like this um, going the same direction on each end. I don't know. Let's see if it works. So here's the two legs, and I think it worked. So we got these pieces milled up and cut to size. I'm gonna wait on this piece. This is the center support piece that goes in between the legs. Uh, I just wanna make sure I get the right size on that. Um, pocket holes and pocket screws is the joinery method that we're gonna use. Um, like it or not, it's effective and strong. So, and pretty simple. You can use whatever joinery method that you wanna use, um, but that's what I'm gonna use for this one. Also, I'm going to take it over and sand all these pieces before we assemble them. It'll be a lot easier to sand them now than when it's assembled. So let's do that now. Everything is sanded. I've got my pocket holes uh, drilled, and now it's time to assemble the legs to the top. So let's do that now. Working with uh, one inch thickness, Craig calls for a one and a half inch Craig jig screw. Well, I don't have any one and a half inch Craig jig screws, but I do have these one and a half inch screws. So I'm all about making it work. So we are gonna do that.
cut the angles, um, put pocket holes in, um, sand it, and then we'll slide it up. And wherever it meets, kind of like right there, is where it will end up. Now everything is assembled. Um, got everything matched up pretty well. Um, I'm gonna put a chamfer on this top edge, which I think is gonna look really good. Um, and once I'm done with that, then I'm going to sand one final sanding over everything. Um, then it'll be time for finish. Guys, that's it for this one. Um, pretty simple build, but it solved the problem in our house. And my wife loves walnut, as always. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time I'm building something. For this project will be starting with some rust. Rust. For this project, we'll be starting with some rough, rough sawn lumber. It's a tongue twister.